Hey guys, it is Thursday at five o'clock. <laughs> um, just picked up the camera, thought I'd do some vlogging. Um, I'm thinking of getting a coffee, of course, what's new. And I also am needing to get rabbit food because my bunny is currently out of food. Um, we were gonna get it yesterday, but there was literally no rabbit food. So I'm going today, hopefully they restock the shelf. I was going to film a video today. I just went ahead and did like a quick makeup look. A video is coming on my microblading journey. That is over with, so I wanna do like a full roundup video. Also, I was going to film a video today, but today is just like one of those days where like you sit down to film or you have an idea and then you go to do it and then like just like something inside you it's just like, uh, I don't know if I really feel like doing this or I feel like it's not like working out how I thought it, how I want it to go. So I ended up literally doing nothing and I hate those days because then it makes me feel like I wasted the whole day. This is kind of hard to explain, but like I think the thing that's stopping me is I have an idea in my head and I can't execute that idea fully to the potential that I want it to be. So then I get a little bit discouraged and I end up not doing it at all. Um, it really sucks. I don't know if that's like perfectionism. I've never had this issue before. But like I have an idea of how I want to do my content, what I want my content to look like. And then when I go to execute it, it's just like... It doesn't come together like I want it to so I'm really struggling with that right now but I figured that I could vlog a little bit maybe so I'm just having a lot of issues with content creating and um, pushing content out because I just have like 50 different things happening at one time between my small business and then TikTok and then Instagram. I think there's just too many platforms at this point right now and trying to be on all of them at one time is really exhausting, really tiring, um, creatively draining. I think that's mainly my issue is I'm, I don't feel as creative as other people or like I want to be creative but I can't execute it the way that I want to so it's like one big jumbled mess. But anyway, that is, that is my feelings right now. Now. So um, I'm stressed. So uh, let's go get a coffee and calm down and hopefully they'll have my rabbit food. That's all I'm trying to get done today is getting my rabbit food and getting coffee. I took a few pictures and I also want to make some mini ears, Mickey ears. So maybe I'll do a little vlog on that too. But anyway, let's go get a coffee. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to get rabbit food first um, because I don't know why, but I have like this weird thing of like um, if I know I'm going back to the house soon, I would rather have my coffee right before I go back to the house. I guess it's because I like to sip on my coffee and I like to <laughs> drink my coffee while I watch YouTube and do stuff and I hate when my coffee gets like watered down and I think it's because it's so hot here in Florida that if I get it before it would be like halfway melted before I got home and that's no fun so I'm going to vlog on my phone um, in here because it would be hella awkward to carry this camera and tractor supply um, but yeah let's go get rabbit food <sighs> the many thrilling adventures of every day <laughs> Okay, so they have rabbit food, but this is not the usually, this usually isn't the one that I get, but it's by the same brand, so I guess I'll have to get this one. I usually get this one right here, it's a red bag, but this will have to work, or maybe I'll get this, let's decide. Okay, so who's ready for a fun, exciting haul? Okay, we got 
the rabbit food. Bunny's got to eat. I had to get a different one, but that's okay. And also, I got the toasted vanilla shaken espresso. I got it different than what I ordered in my last video. Um, I got two shots of espresso. It normally comes with three. I don't like it as much. Like, it's kind of like, I can't really, t like, I could taste the vanilla, but it's not as sweet as I'd like it to be. So, I do like it with only one shot of espresso better, but it's not bad. It's just a little stronger. I'm going to add a little bit more vanilla. But, okay, yeah, that was it. That was the haul. That was fun, right? So, um, I'm waiting on food. My mom is bringing me shrimp and grits from this restaurant, and it is amazing. I have not had that in a while. And I will show you my outfit, outfit of the day. That'll be fun, because I think it's kind of cute. So, let me show you that. Here is my outfit. This shirt is from... I think JC Penney's. No, it's from Bell's. And I love the back. It has like a cute little pie thing right here, which is super cute. And then we have, oh, you can't see them. Okay. Okay, I had to move because you couldn't see my shorts. So this is my shorts. These are my shorts. And I got them quite a bit ago, but they're super cute. They're just like distressed. They're a little tight on the legs, but that's okay. And they're high waisted, of course. But yeah, I think it's really cute. And then for the belt, if you will, I literally just use a gold necklace, like a longer gold necklace, and just wrapped it through the loops and used it as a cute little belt. Thought it was a cute idea, like why not? You know, kind of like body jewelry. Kind of like the idea of body jewelry, which I think is really cute, but yeah. And then I got my little Epcot necklace, which is really cute as well. So, there that is right there. That's by Castles and Confettis on Etsy and Instagram. Really cute. Epcot is one of Walt Disney World's parks, if you do not know, but super cute. So, remember when I said that I might put some Mickey ears together? I figured I would show you guys what I got and what I meant. So, there is this company. It is called fitting pieces they like sell like little kits and they give you like a headband the stuffing for the ears the fabric and you get to choose a fabric they have pre-made bows that come with your kits so you don't have to worry about making the bow but i want to show you guys what it looks like and i picked the strawberry ears and the confetti ears and i'm so excited to make them so i i think i want to make like an actual video on it um for my disney channel <laughs> but um yeah let me show you what it looks like all right so here is the box it is fitting pieces in co which is super cute and like i said i got two different kinds so here is the little bows i was talking about they come packaged like this this is the confetti one it's kind of like a pinky nude material with sequins on it then you get the stuffing and the fabric is right here and also the headband so here's one that I opened so this is the headband it's just like a satin headband and um, you can decorate this like you can kind of make it your own as well and then here is the ribbon for the headband then here are the ears it's like the little cutouts um, that the fabric goes over and all you do is hot glue it so here's the strawberry fabric I picked out it's like pink strawberry with white dots so cute and then this one comes with a little red bow so yeah and also um, you just scan this right here and there is a video on YouTube that shows you how to put everything together so I'm like super excited to do this i don't know which ones i want to make first so i don't think i'm going to show it in this video like i'll show you the end product but i think i'm going to make like an actual video or tiktok showing me making one of the pairs of ears but yeah so cool so exciting and definitely good for like this kind of boring day i'm just like sitting here bored 
um, don't know what to do, so it's kind of fitting. I don't know if you guys have seen those like white boots that have literally been everywhere. I've seen them on TikTok and a lot on Instagram, Instagram Reels, but I did some research and I actually was able to get some. I'm so excited. I wear a lot of cowboy boots because I am more of like a southern girl, so I've never had a pair of white cowboy boots and I have some thoughts on them. This is them right here. They are the Bellini Urson boots. They retail for $115. Um, you could buy them online or you can buy them in store. I did buy mine in store at Altered State because I did want to try them on. If you are looking to buy these, I have some tea. Okay, so these are not like regular cowboy boots. I mean they are, but they're not like real leather. They're like pleather, but they're really, really nice looking and they're beautiful in photos. And I will say they're super, super comfortable. They're way more comfortable than like actual cowboy boots, cowgirl boots, western boots, whatever you wanna call them. But here are some thoughts. Okay, so I read a lot of reviews on them and a lot of people said they run big. And then a lot of people said they were true to size. So that is really why I wanted to go in store and try them on. But here's the tea. Okay, so both seven and eight fit. I don't know how, it's crazy, I know. But both, I'm usually a size eight. Eight fits great. They were roomy. And then a size seven was more fitted, but it fit really, really good. So both size seven and eight did fit for me. So no matter what size I ordered, they would have fit regardless. I got the size seven only because they were more um, fitted. They weren't like as, I don't want to say loose because they weren't like loose or big. They were just more fitted and I liked that feel. So I did size down a whole size. I don't believe they have half sizes. So I can safely say that if you are looking to buy them, you can literally get your regular size or you can size down. If you're like at eight and a half, I would probably go eight unless you want more room than go nine. But I'm telling you, very flexible within sizing. The only downside that I have seen to these is this part right here is quite small like even it's kind of tight on me that is a lot of what the reviews are saying as well so if you have skinny legs don't even worry about it if you have bigger calf muscles i would be leery i would try and find them in store to try them on to make sure they're not going to be too tight and you'll see what i mean where they're tight at so they're really easy to put on but when they get about right here it gets pretty tight right about here to the knees and like you could fold it down see how they're very like flexible like they're not like super super tight but they are a tighter fit and between a seven and an eight this is basically the same size like there was no difference at all the top fit me exactly the same um, between a seven and an eight. So just because you sized up does not mean this is going to be bigger, at least not between the two sizes that I tried on. And the other downfall of these is these are very sweaty. You will sweat very easily in these. If you live in like Florida, like me, where it's hot and humid, you will start sweating within five, 10 minutes of wearing these. I guess it's the material, but boy, you will sweat. Other than that, they are beautiful. They are gorgeous. They are one of the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. I love the white, white goes with anything. I love the brown wood instead of the black. That's what, that's the one thing I really liked about these. I have like the gray stitching, Western stitching, which is absolutely beautiful. And I love that it is round toe, like almond round toe as they call it. Amazon has some really cheap dupes of this. I found two pairs. I'll link them down below. One was 45 and one was 55, but the prices fluctuate on Amazon. But they have a lot of good reviews and they look exactly like these Bellini Urson boots. And a lot of people really like them. And it, the reviews are the same as the reviews on Princess Polly for the real boots. Um, honestly, they're probably the same boots <laughs> so they must fit exactly the same but yeah that's my little review on the Bellini Urson boots in case anybody cared or was wondering 
I'm in love with them. I, they're like my new favorite staple. Here's what they look like on with an outfit. Really, really cute. I love them. I think they are adorable. Super cute for videos, photos. They just look really good, super comfortable. And like I said, the only place they're tight is like right here. No worse than like leather pants or like leather leggings, if you will. So it's not like uncomfortable or like it's digging into your skin. It's just, it's just there, <laughs> but they're really, really cute. Hey guys, it is the next day. Happy Friday, happy Earth Day. And I'm going to end the vlog right here. Um, Keep an eye out for my next vlog. I'll show the ears and then I'm also going to do the actual ears video on my Disney channel. So be sure to subscribe to that channel as well. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic, magical day and I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye guys.